Hey, I want to talk to you about web accessibility for your website or even your clients as well. I want you to go and download and install this Google Chrome extension called Wave Evaluation Tool. This is super cool. It is free to use because this is how you assess how accessible your website is. We're on websquadron.co.uk and I'm now going to click the Web Evaluation Tool. And that's it, instantly. It's now telling me that there are 16 errors and 52 alerts. By the way, I have intentionally gone on and set some errors in, okay? Otherwise, it was a little bit light on what I could show you. There are a lot of false positives as well, okay? So you're gonna see ARIA, 18 features here, and 52 structural elements. This is actually just showing me a breakdown of what's on the page, and I don't need to worry about them. The one I do want to worry about are the 16 errors, the 52 alerts, and the three contrast areas. So let's go and work through them. I'm going to click View Details, and we have 16 errors here. So let me now just click the first one. And all of these errors here actually take me over to the carousel. They basically all relate here. And I've got carousels here, and you'll notice there's error, error, error. Basically, if I click over here, it's going to tell me it's missing the alternative text. But if we go over to this WordPress one, it's actually in green. So what is it about that WordPress logo that makes it better than all of these? Well, if I go over to my media library, my WordPress logo has alternative text there. WordPress logo inside the carousel. Please go and watch our earlier video, which is about top 10 tips for web design accessibility. And this will make absolute sense to you. Make it descriptive and relate it to the content. So if I was to go back through all of my logos and give them that, all of these would now be green. I've also got an error here though for an empty link. It's basically referring to the logo where it says there's no text there, but it's a link with no text. Now that is what I call a false positive. Now if I go to all of my buttons, the ones with the FF050 color there, these are the three buttons that are getting picked up as a contrast error. So there's one there, one there, and there was another one. So there you go, uh, build your website as well. Now, if we go all the way to the top where I have let's build, that also did have a contrast error. However, I modified the color so that it now wasn't breaching. So how did I do that? And if I click on the icon here, it says reference, but it also says code. Now, if you click code, it's going to show you the code at the bottom here where you can now see what the color is. If you want to start messing around with it from that point of view. But if you click on reference, where it gives you a bit more detail, but you also have an icon over here called contrast as well. And we can see where it is failing. Now I wanna make it pass all of the levels. So I'm now gonna decrease the lightness or make it darker until I get a pass over there. That is then the color I would now use within my global colors for the button background. Now again, if your clients are very particular about the branding or whatever, you might want to get this in writing that you made clear to them that it was failing and we need to go for this color scheme instead just to protect yourself. Now over here where we have redundant alternative text, I've on purpose put the keyword in twice into the same alt text box. And what it's telling me is that you've got, it's basically you've got it in twice. It doesn't need to be there. So again, that would be really easy to go back to the image in your media library and just make sure you've only got it in once. Again, if you've watched our accessibility video, we talk about how your section should have a header. In fact, it must be a H1 tagged header. I have on purpose made sure that this section does not have any H1 headers in there. And it's basically saying you're missing the first level heading. So again, really easy to sort out. Just make sure you've got a H1. Look, I've got a H2 and a H3. Where's the H1? Now, even though we have 52 alerts, a lot of these are false positives. We have over here where it says redundant link, and it's now starting to refer to these over here because none of these actually have a link contained within them. If you click on them, they're not going to take you anywhere. So it is saying what's well, a carousel, the link feature is inside of there, but you're not using it. That is a false positive. I don't need to worry about that. Secondly, you will, you will also get the no script element. This is a little bit redundant, and I really don't feel like you need to worry about it. It's something that really shouldn't be here. So if you have a no script element, like if I go and click it over here, it's going to say that an image or a logo or something is no script. And that's because it might be expecting some JavaScript to run, but it's just an image on a page. There's no JavaScript required. You know, it has got the light box feature, but that isn't going to get around the fact that it's not a JavaScript. So again, that is a false positive. And in essence, that was it really. It's mainly contrast, a few missing your headers, the fact that the alt text wasn't right. So if you are working through your 
website and you're being very careful and you're, you're taking on board the top 10 tips about web accessibility, you can very quickly go in and just double check to make sure you've not missed anything. And the fact that this is a free Google Chrome extension makes it so easy to assess your website or anyone else's as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.